What's happening guys? It's your man Visions by Dream. Welcome to my channel. This is the first video uh, and I thought it would just make sense to do an unboxing. So we've got the Amazon package. Let's get into it. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is because a lot of times people just think you have to have the top of the top gear in order for your work to really look good. And from my experience, I've been able to use a lot of awesome top of the line gear, but I've also been able to learn how to use a lot of the cheap, the, I shouldn't say cheap stuff, I should say the things more so in my budget range at that time. I started off using a uh, Nikon D5500, and right now I'm shooting on a Canon 80D, which in my opinion has been great for both photo and video. I want to try and figure out how I could step up my photography game, especially because I don't, I didn't have a ton of money to, to, to spend on new glass right now. So I'm traveling, I like to do a lot of traveling. So what would be the best thing that I have not added to my arsenal? After I really thought about it, I remembered, oh yeah, I don't have a ND filter or a polarizer. So I was like, uh, Amazon, here I come. All right, so I got these, I got these three for only 60, $60, really 50 bucks, because 13, 1390 something I paid for next day shipping. I've got the newer uh, ND1000 10 stop filter here. I have the Amazon Basics Circular Polarizer and I also have the uh, Amazon Basics UV Protection Filter. I don't know if it'll show up there. I don't need a ton of new equipment. I just bought a brand new Sigma, Sigma 17 to 50, which I'm shooting on right now. So I just really needed something to A, protect my lenses, and also something that would be awesome to use, especially in very sunny uh, locations, like on the beaches or especially when I'm traveling, um, and something that would kind of help cut out a lot of the glare um, and just kind of bring a lot more color into my photos. All right, so we've got we've got the newer here. This is our 10 stop uh, ND filter. Got, got a nice little uh, cloth there. We have a nice hard plastic case for the actual filter itself. Be very, very careful as always. Fresh out the box. I don't know if you can see that. Nice matte black. Oh my goodness gracious. And I have a 77 millimeter thread, so it just kind of goes right on there like that. Obviously, it's not gonna work right now because uh, it's nighttime. In my experience, a UV filter doesn't really do very much, but it does come in handy to protect your glass because, yeah, I, I didn't have my camera around my neck, first mistake, um, and it slipped out of my hand, and the tip of, it wasn't even a, a long drop, it was maybe about three inches, and the front of the camera just, just hit the floor like that, and the entire front filter just bent in and shattered. I was like, oh my gosh, I busted this glass, I'm gonna have to pay for a brand new lens, blah, 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 and next thing I knew, I double checked and I was like, oh no. Uh, it was just the UV filter, which definitely something to keep um, on hand if you wanna just protect your your glass in general. Lastly, but definitely not the least, we have, was this, the circular polarizer here, which um, what I've read is kind of like a pair of sun, polarized sunglasses for your camera. I like to do a lot of shoots during the spring, summertime, which it's super bright and it just kind of allows you to shoot at 
more brighter times of the day. This kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility. Um, so this is from Amazon Basics. Um, it's got a nice little hard plastic case here. Uh, let's just pop that open. Oh, I, I love new stuff. <laughs> yeah, 77 millimeter thread there, Amazon Basics. A nice little polarizer. I don't know, probably won't work here. Just kind of, oh yeah. So yeah, it just kind of just cuts out a lot of excess glare. You know, in this day and age, we can really feel like we're not keeping up with the Joneses if you don't have all of the latest gear, the brand new cameras, and like you're just walking around with like 20 grand worth of equipment in your bag. I've got two lenses and I've been able to create a lot of fun work. And I feel like if you can master a little bit, you can definitely do with a lot. And I just need to really add like a 70 to 200 because I like to shoot sports a lot. And I'll pretty much be topped out. Just know, you don't need to break the bank in order to make awesome content. Just go out, create, have a great time, and let's see what you come up with next. I'm your man, Visuals by Dream. Thank you so much for watching this, this quick video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be trying to come up with these videos uh, every week or at least uh, every second week. Um, on the Thursdays, so please, please, please subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.